on in last class we discussed about matrix multiplication in this video we will discuss about transpose of a matrix and some of its properties after that we will discuss about symmetric and skew symmetric matrix let's go for it first one is transpose of a matrix the matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of a matrix a is called the transpose of matrix a and it is said that it is denoted by a tree or a dash that is let a is a matrix a i j of order m plus n then its transpose is given by a transpose equal to the matrix a j i is of order m cross n let's see an example here let a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 is a matrix is of order 2 plus 3 then a transpose is given by the rows are integer to the column that means 1 2 3 similarly this row is became the second column that's why its order is 3 cross 2 so here we show that if a is a matrix is of order n cross n then its transpose is a matrix is of order n cross n that means if a is of order m cross n that implies a transpose is a matrix of order n cross n let's see here if we again transpose this matrix that means the transpose of a transpose again it becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is also of order 2 cross 3 this is the matrix a so we conclude here that the transpose of a a transpose equal to the same matrix a similarly next property is the transpose of a plus b equal to a transpose plus b transpose what is the condition here the addition is possible here where addition is defined next one is similarly the transpose of a minus b matrix equal to a transpose minus b transpose next one is one of the important a into b transpose equal to b transpose into a transpose which is known as reversal law where the product ab is defined similarly sorry we can verify this by taking one two examples like a and b next see here the a square to the power a square transpose that means the transpose of a square we can write this it as a into a square transpose so similarly by reversal law this becomes a transpose into a transpose so this is becomes a transpose law square so similarly by generalizing by generalizing this we can get a to the power n r transpose equal to a transpose to the power n this is all about the transpose of the matrix and all about of its or different properties for is symmetric matrix a square matrix a equal to a i j is of order n cross n is called a symmetric matrix a a i j equal to a j i for all i and j that means look at example here here a is a square matrix is of order 3 is symmetric because Here a one two that means minus one is equal to the element a two one. Similarly, here one three equal to one is equal to the a three one. Similarly, a two three here is five is equal to a three two. From definition, we get that a matrix 
asymmetric that implies or implies that a i j equal to a j i for all i and j. So from definition of transpose, we can write here a equal to a transpose that it implies that a matrix A is symmetric if and only if it equals to of its transpose. See an example here. Let A equal to 2, 0, 0, 3 and its transpose is given by 2, 0, 0, 3. Here A equal to A transpose. So A is an symmetric matrix A is a symmetric matrix here some of the properties of a symmetric matrix first one is for any square matrix A the matrix A plus A transpose is symmetric and A into A transpose and A transpose into A is also symmetric matrices look at here if we take A plus A transpose or transpose from the properties of transpose we get that A transpose plus A transpose of transpose so from this <coughs> we get A transpose plus A by commutative of matrix addition we can get that A plus A transpose therefore a plus A4 transpose of A plus A transpose is equal to A plus A transpose. So here A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix. Similarly, that transpose of A into A transpose, which is equal to by reversal law, here we can write that. A transpose transpose into A transpose. By definition of transpose, this became A and this into A transpose. Here we see that the transpose of A into A transpose equal to A into A transpose. So A into A transpose is also a symmetric matrix. Similarly, we can show that A transpose A into A is also a symmetric matrix. The second property is transpose of A into A is equal to K times A transpose where K is any scalar. Let's explain it. Let A equal to Aij is a matrix of order n plus n of order n plus n then k times k equal to k into a i j is of order n plus n now its transpose is k a j i is of order n plus n which is equal to k times a j i is of order n plus n here this is transpose of A. So, first property is A for any square matrix A, A plus A transpose is symmetric. Similarly, A into A transpose and A transpose into A is also symmetric. And next one is the transpose of K times A matrix is equal to K times A transpose. Next is skew symmetric matrix. A square matrix A equal to Aij is of order n cross n is called a skew symmetric matrix if Aij equal to minus times Aji for all i and j this means that let here an example is a matrix is of order 3 plus 2 here the element A12 equal to 2 and A21 equal to minus 2 A13 equal to 3 A31 equal to minus 3 similarly a23 equal to minus 5, a3 equal to 5. This implies that a12 equal to minus of a21. This implies that a13 equal to minus of a31. 
थ्री वन एंड आल्सो दिस इज कैसे एट टू थ्री इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ है थ्री टू सो इट इज ए स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक इट इज ए स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक नेक्स्ट सी दैट फ्रॉम डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम डेफिनेशन we get that a is skew symmetric implies or implies by a i j equal to minus a j i for all i and j so <coughs> that implies here a i j equal to matrix a and a j i equal to a transpose From definition of transpose, so we can also say that a matrix A is skew symmetric if and only if its transpose is equal to minus times that matrix. A transpose is equal to minus times that matrix. See some properties of skew symmetric matrix. From definition of skew symmetric matrix, we get that a matrix skew symmetric. प्लस हाफ ऑफ 
a minus a transpose. As seen before, a plus a transpose is a skewed symmetric matrix. Is a symmetric matrix. Similarly, a minus a transpose is also a skewed symmetric matrix. So here we see that a square matrix can be expressed as sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Okay. Let's discuss one of the most important question here. Express the matrix A as a sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. As the before theorem we discussed, every square matrix can be Express the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. Let's say given A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that is plus A transpose is given by this. So, that a matrix P is equal to half of A plus A transpose. Here, this matrix P is given by this. Here, A12 element is equal to A21 element, A13 element is equal to A31. Similarly, A23 element equal to A32 element. So, this is a symmetric matrix. Similarly, the matrix Q equal to half of A minus A transpose is, is given by this matrix. Look at here, the diagonal elements are 0 and A12 equal to minus of A21, A13 equal to minus of A31 and A23 equal to minus of a 3 2. So it is a skew symmetric matrix. Here A equal to P plus Q where P is a symmetric matrix and Q is a skew symmetric matrix. Here the matrix A is expressed as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix.